Hello, I'm Cameron with Gale Force 9 Games. Today we're going to start our How to Play series for Firefly Adventures Brigands and Browncoats. This is a game where you work together with a team of all your favourite characters from Firefly to achieve a series of jobs across the verse. But before you can jump into some thrill and heroics, you need to set up the game. Firefly Brigands and Browncoats comes with a set of jobs right out of the box. But if you go to our website, link is in the description below, then you can download some extra community, cre community created missions, which we'll add to regularly. Have a look through these jobs, and once you have found one that interests you, then you can get started. First, you will need to decide if this is just a one-off job, or the start of a storyline. If you are playing a one-off job, then the crew gets to start with 3,000 credits. Well, if you're starting a storyline that you plan to continue, then you start with just 2,000. But any credits you earn in the job can be used to buy new and shinier equipment as you continue. Every job you play will include a map and instructions on how to set up the map and the buildings. Take your time setting this up, taking special care to make sure the doors are facing the right way and you haven't missed any goons or tokens. Place any appropriate rewards under the reward marker to the side and then shuffle the various card decks and place them with an easy reach to the side of the board. The job will also specify how long you have to complete it. You will need to lay out the timeline segments matching this. For example, a job that asks for 50 moments will need 5 timeline segments, though this can change depending on the size of the crew you are working with. The jobs will often tell you to add more time if you have a smaller group. Place any tokens on the time segments as the job requests. This brings us to actually deciding the number of crew. If you have 5 players, it is a simple case of every player controlling one crew member. If you have 4 players, then it is usually a good idea to run with just 4 crew so everyone gets equal playing time, and then increasing the time segments by 1. If you have 3 players, you could try attempt the job with just 3 crew and increase the time segments by 2. Or you could have one or two of the more experienced players take control of two crew members each. If you have two players, you will find that most jobs are very difficult to complete with just two crew members. So we suggest each player controls two crew, and you increase the time segments by one. Finally, for one player, this one is straightforward. Decide how many crew you want, and control them all. Next. You equip your crew with the equipment for the job with your starting cash. We'll cover this in the next video. And finally, you're ready to start. Place your crew on the starting location specified in the job and stack their turn markers on the first moment of the time segment. You get to choose their order. The turn marker on top will go first. Thanks for watching our first how to play video for Firefly Adventures Brigands and Browncoats. This is available to order now from our store page with the link in the description below. Follow GF9 on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook to keep up to date with all the latest news and updates.